Back once more. Five more movies to go down. Let's get into it with number 70. In its 70, arguably the greatest romantic comedy slash romantic film ever made, When Harry Met Sally. The film was directed by Rob Reiner, the same guy who made This Is Spinal Tap. Of course, there's Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan, and is considered a cult classic by many and by many people around the world as one of the best romantic films ever. And certainly has one of the most famous scenes ever made in cinema. Even if you haven't seen When Harry Met Sally, chances are you've either seen the most famous scene from it or you've seen a recreation of that scene. Oh, oh, oh yes, 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 oh, yes, 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 oh, 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 God, oh. I'll have what she's having. Certainly an iconic film, and certainly deserves its place on this list. Moving on. <laughs> Graduating us into the 60s is The Graduate. The 1967 film was directed by Mike Nichols and stars Dustin Hoffman. The film is about a college graduate who finds himself torn between his older lover and her daughter. The Graduate was nominated for seven Academy Awards in 1968 and won the award for Best Director, which just goes to show it's a hell of a movie. Check it out if you haven't, and we're gonna move on to number 68. <laughs> Hitting the list at number 68, Silver Linings Playbook. Silver Linings Playbook was a romantic drama, comedy. It was pretty unique, had a unique spin. You know what? Forget I offered to help you. Forget the entire fucking idea, because that must have been fucking crazy, because I am so much crazier than you. Keep your voice down. I am just the crazy slut with a dead husband. <laughs> Forget it! Shut the fuck up. You shut Tiffany, up. hey, Tiffany! based on a novel of the same name by Matthew Quick. It was written and directed by David O. Russell. The film starred Jennifer Lawrence, Bradley Cooper, Robert De Niro, Chris Tucker, and many, many more. Two main actors, Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence, who's had a great chemistry in this film, great performances, and the story was something slightly unique, as I've already mentioned. Certainly a film to check out, even if you don't like romantic films. This might change your opinion. Moving on to number 67. <laughs> Number 67 on the list was directed by Christopher Nolan and it stars Christian Bale and Scarlett Johansson. So no, it's not a Batman movie. It also stars Hugh Jackman and that movie is The Prestige. 2006 Christopher Nolan film is about two magicians who are constantly trying to outdo each other and who are trying to come up with the ultimate illusion. There's a lot to this movie, it's even got a little bit of sci-fi to it as do many Christopher Nolan films. Perhaps one of the slightly lesser known Christopher Nolan films, a lot of people who have seen it, love it. Moving on to number 66. <laughs> number 66 on the list has a very deceptive title because the title of number 66 is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. And I really wish it was The Last Crusade. Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade, directed by Steven Spielberg, starring Harrison Ford, of course, as Indiana Jones, and Sean Connery's in there, so as a few other people. It's one of the Indiana Jones films, thankfully the one without Shia LaBeouf in it. In the 1989 film, Indiana Jones' father goes missing while looking for the Holy Grail, and Indy has to go find him. Once again, as per most Indiana Jones films, not all of them, because the fourth one, terrible. As with most Indiana Jones films, it's a great adventure film with some good comedy in there, and great performances from Harrison Ford and Sean Connery, as you would expect. This is intolerable! This could be close! this list wasn't going to have Indy on it at some point and there's no way he won't be on it again at some point and there we have it 35 films down now we're moving 
Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. New content every Wednesday and Friday. And for now, I will catch you next week for the next five.